Hello my fellow creators and welcome to my YouTube channel. It is the second of the month which means it's time for Sheetload collaborators to share our version of this month's Sheetload of Card Sketch. The Sheetload of Card Sketch is a cutting guide and full supply list provided free to all of Call Me Crafty Owl's subscribers. I'll be sure to link to Call Me Crafty Owl's channel in the description box below. Now on the first of each month, Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl channel shares the sketch for the month and explains how to download the sketch. On the second of the month, she shares a full process video using the sheet load sketch, including any tips or tricks she may have. The collaboration team, which consists of both Instagram and YouTube collaboration team members, also shares our version of how we use the sheet load on the second of the month. Now I will have a playlist in the description box below so that you can follow along with all the collaborators on the April 2024 sheet load sketch. I will also include links to the products I've used to make today's cards. If you would like to play along with this month's sheet load of card sketch, please be sure to use the hashtags on the sketch when sharing on social media. This way we can see all the wonderful creations being made by our crafty friends. The sketch shares what supplies are needed, how many cards it will yield, and this month the sketch yields eight cards. The dimensions to make a card in case you only want to make one instead of the full batch. Any special instructions, and this month's sheet load does have some special instructions. And, and alternatives to making the sketch your own. For example, rotating or flipping the sketch. Now the second page of the sketch is your cutting guide, which tells you how to cut your pattern paper and your cardstock. Let me show you the cards I made. I chose this beautiful I'd Rather Be Crafting collection by Lori Whitlock and Echo Park Paper. And I think it's just so pretty. There's a lot of cute crafty papers in here, but there's also some pretty florals. So I used these two floral papers that were in that collection kit. And I did choose to make my cards on a cream colored card base. I thought that coordinated really well with the pattern papers I chose. Now, as I mentioned, I used two of the floral papers from the collection. And I really love the floral patterns because they can be used for so many different occasions. You could use this for birthday, Mother's Day, thinking of you, so many more different occasions. Now, for my oval dies here, the scalloped oval and then the oval layer, I did use my Gina K Master Layouts 1, and you can see those are the two dies I used. And then for my sentiment, I used this sentiment that says, I hope you always find a reason to smile, and that's from this Choose Happy stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. And then to stamp my sentiment, uh, for the sentiment, I used Peach Bellini by Gina K Designs. And then for the little, pretty little hearts, I used Warm Cocoa, also by Gina K Designs. And then these, this is it. This is all the scraps I had left from my pattern paper. And that's because with the extra pieces of paper that were left after cutting for the sketch, I used those for the inside of my cards. So let me show you all eight cards. And I really pretty much stuck to the sketch this month. I didn't really make any alterations. And so you'll see I have four of each design. So four with the uh, darker floral pattern as the background and the smaller floral background as the front pieces and then the reverse for my other four. And I, like I said, I really love these. I know I'm gonna definitely use one for Mother's Day. And I always give Mother's Day cards to my daughters and my daughter-in-law because you know what? I want them to know how much they are appreciated on Mother's Day. Thanks for sticking around to the end. I'd be thrilled if you subscribed to my YouTube channel or followed me on any of my other social media platforms. As always, have a beautiful, safe, and creative day. Thanks for watching. Bye.